Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's go through the steps that help us solve a rational inequality. We'll take the same one that we showed you on the previous video, but now we're going to go through the steps of actually solving it. So first, we're supposed to move all the terms to the left side and zero to the right, but we are already there, so we don't have to worry about that. Step number one is already done for us. The next one we do need to do, find all the values for x that make the denominator equal to zero by taking the denominator and setting it equal to zero. So we're going to write set x plus one, which is the denominator, equal to zero and solve. So that means we solve for x, so x equals negative one, and that becomes one of our critical points. So let's write that down. That is a critical point, but the critical point that we find by setting the denominator equal to zero cannot be part of the solution because the denominator can never be equal to zero. So critical point. Now we need to find all the other critical points. How do we do that? By, like before, taking the inequality sign and making it into an equal sign. So to find the other critical points, right x minus 3 over x plus 1 is equal to 0. So what is going to make that equal to 0? Well a fraction is equal to 0 if the numerator is equal to 0. All right that means that x minus 3 must be equal to 0 or x equals 3 and there is the other critical point. Now that we found both critical points, x equals negative 1 and x equals 3, now we can place those on the number line. So here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. x equals negative 1, let's draw a circle around it. Now of course that one will not be filled in because it cannot equal negative 1. It separates two regions that could be a solution. And x equals 3. And notice that one will also not be filled in because we don't have an equal sign here. If this was greater than or equal to, then 3 would be part of the solution. So we have three regions. We have region number 1, region number 2, and region number 3. So we're going to pick a test point out of each region, but notice what we're going to do now. We're not going to actually solve the inequality. We're simply going to figure out if the numerator or the denominator is negative or positive. So for region number one, we're going to let x equal negative two. So we're going to say let x equal negative two and then if it's equal to negative two, negative two minus three is negative five, that's a negative number. So negative divided by negative two plus one, that's a negative number. So notice, I don't care what the value is, I just simply care, care if it's a positive or negative number. So if x is negative 2, negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5, that's negative. And negative 2 plus 1 is a negative number, so it's negative. Is negative divided by negative greater than 0? Question mark. Well, a negative divided by a negative number is a positive number, and that's greater than 0, so the answer is yes. So that means I picked a point in a region that satisfies the inequality, so I put a check mark saying that's a good region. All right, how about region number two? For that, we're going to let x equal zero. That makes it easy. Let x equal zero. If x equals zero, I have a negative three in the numerator. That's a negative divided by. If x equals zero, I have a positive in the denominator. And is that greater than zero? Question mark. Of course, a negative number divided by a positive number is a negative number that is negative, it's not greater than zero, so the answer is no. And so this is not a valid region, it's not part of the solution. How about to the right, let x equals four. So region number three, let x equals four. And so when x equals four, four minus three, that's one, that's a positive number, divided by four plus one is five, that's a positive number. So positive divided by positive, is that greater than zero question mark? And the answer is yes, positive divided by positive is greater than zero. So that means region number three is a valid region. So now I'm going to darken the regions that are valid. So there's one region, there's the other region. It does not include 
the critical points. That is not possible, and here can only be possible if it's an equal to as well, but it's not. And so let's write down the answer. So the answer is that x must be less than negative 1 and x greater than 3. So there's your solution. All values for x greater than 3 and all values of x less than negative 1 are part of the solution for this inequality. I can also write it like this. I can say that negative infinity all the way to negative 1, but not inclusive. And here the value of 3 all the way to positive infinity, but not inclusive. That is also a way in which I can write the solution. So that is how we solve a rational inequality.